In this video, I will provide you with some more information about the floor framing for our series of videos on the two-story open floor plan. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. Two by four engineered trusses. The span is 30 foot and uh, they are 22 inches tall. Here we have a doubler supporting the other doubler to support the joist here. Other than that, it's straight forward, 16 inches on center there. Take a look at it from this angle. We do have a supporting post for our doubler. Sometimes that can just simply be um, five or six two by fours uh, nailed together, depending on what the engineer says. Now remember this example here I'm providing you with um, is something that I just drew. I do not have any engineering for this building. So you would need to contact an engineer. Don't just build something like this and say, oh my God, Greg told me to build this thing or showed me how to build it. That will be your own um, undoing if you don't, and it falls down. If it, stay, if it stands up forever, then great. So two by four ceiling backing. This is for the drywall. Take another view of it here. The drywall for the ceiling is going to come over. You're going to need something to nail it to. So we've got some ceiling backing there. And here we have some more ceiling backing. So this is actually a flat 2x4 nailed to on top of the framing plates. The other was on edge nailed to the joist. And you can see here where it's going down. Our 2x6 wall. Another view of the backing on the other side and the ceiling joist. Come to the corner here. Here's our backing for the drywall on the other side. And I wanted to show you this right here. Just kind of wanted to give you another idea. Sometimes you can build your own truss on the outside. You don't need to buy one. Something like this isn't going to work well on the outside. You know, um, you're going to need to insulate it. Um, and you can always build the wall taller. That's probably what, what I would do. I would have this wall go all the way up to here and then the plywood would nail to that. That would create a nice um, connection. Your engineer would love that. So either way, just wanted to show you that uh, this right here uh, is probably going to work better than just using a truss for the um, exterior wall here. And then, of course, our um, supporting board here. This is going to help with our perimeter nailing and provide us with a method to um, keep all of these joists nice and straight. And again, this is a common method, um, having a 2 by 4 brace here for this type of flooring, especially when you're dealing with 22 inch tall um, floor joist. Now, I don't have any um, supporting braces in the center. Um, sometimes you'll, they will run a 1 by 6 or something down the center. Um, you can straighten all of this out with your plywood. Um, on the top and everything would be nice and straight. But again, you could always run a, a 1x4 or 2x4 on top on the top of these to go down the center um, if you want to keep everything a little firmer. Our stairwell here, and again, we have the wall built here. Um, you wouldn't need a truss for something like this. And of course, this is going to work better for insulating, of course. And again, you could always have this section of the wall um, frame up, um, which is probably what I would do here also. Now, if you're wondering, why didn't I do that in the example? Well, what can I say? Live and learn. So here we have a 4 by 6 I believe this is a, a less than 4 foot span here. And of course, this will be supporting the wall up above it. And uh, it's simply frame a frame your um, jack studs or cripple studs, whatever you call them, on top. Give it give you a, a good idea what this looks like here. Another view of this side, and we got uh, double studs supporting the um, four by six. And of course, our view here, a view of the doubler 
holding up this uh, double joist here. Our hangers looking good there. Five minutes into the video, I think I'm going to go ahead and speed it up here. Look at it. Stairwell. A view of it from the underside, how the hangers might look. Supporting post. And of course the backing here. Just wanted to give you an idea of what the backing would look like if we removed the joists. You can see it here. This is nailed on this side. Let's go down take a look at it from the bottom. See the drywall um, is going to have something to nail to here and here and on this side. But over here the joist is actually going to provide us with our backing. And that is it for this video. Hope you learned something. And if you did, uh, hit the old thumbs up button.